Hey everybody, Erica Sterwin here from Pink Bucker Designs and I'm going to show you how to make this really fun card using the new So Refreshing Bundle. This is in the new 2023-2024 Stampin' Up! Annual Catalog and it's one of my favorites. Um, this set um, to me says lemonade and most of my projects are lemonade themed but also the dies have a little tea bag so if you want to do uh, sweet tea instead of lemonade, you totally can. The pitcher is great for the flowers as well. I have several other five in total projects featuring the So Refreshing Bundle. So if you are looking for inspiration, make sure you click the link here on YouTube. Gro uh, go back to my blog and uh, you'll see some there. And in some other blog posts, it'll be linked at the top. All right, well, let's get started. There's lots of stamping in here. And we're gonna start with the flowers. Now, these are two-step stamps. And I didn't have any trouble lining any of them up except for the flowers. So I've pulled out my Stamparatus and we're going to use um, the Stamparatus to line up these flowers. And I have found that the uh, best way to do this is to start with the second image or the fill-in, the color inside. I want to make sure I have enough room for my stems right there. All right, so here are my colors that I'm using for this card. Um, I'm outlining everything in Smoky Slate. I've got Bubble Bath and Granny Apple Green, Flirty Flamingo, Daffodil Delight, and Lemon Lolly. Lemon Lolly and Bubble Bath are new colors, and uh, I have found that they are great for this set. All right, so we're gonna color, we're gonna stamp the inside of the flowers in Bubble Bath. Now I have already lined this up on my Stamparatus, so it'll be perfect. And we'll take the second image right here and we're gonna stamp the outline image in Flirty Flamingo. All right, and then let me flip my plate around. And the last color we'll do is Granny Apple Green. All right, so now let's stamp the other things. Um, I didn't use my Stamparatus for the other ones. I found that they were pretty easy to do without that. And with my experience, I have found that using the, again, the fill-in image first is the best option for me anyway. All right, so Lemon Lolly, and then we'll get Smoky Slate. And I'm gonna try to not do this with sticking my head right in the camera. You wanna look at all sides to get that lined up. And then the lemonade glass itself, we'll do two of these in Lemon Lolly. And then we will get those in Smoky Slate as well. Now for the lemon, we're going to do one lemon slice. We'll do that in Lemon Lolly. And then we're going to do the uh, the lemons. I'm going to do the outline image in Daffodil Delight. That's a little bit of a darker yellow. I'll we'll stamp that there. And then I'm going to get the fill in. And we'll do Lemon Lolly. Let's see if I can get that right. Okay, there we go. There we go, nice. All right, the last thing I wanna do is use little ice cubes. I love that Stampin' Up! included ice cubes in the stamps as well. There we go. All right, one thing I did add to my images was some Wink of Stella. I thought that made it look a little sparkly, gave the lemonade a little something else little something something okay now the best part is that we have matching dies of course it's always nice when we have matching dies so i'm going to line these up on my cut and emboss machine and because i'm cutting so many of them at once i will probably use some of my post-it tape um, so that they don't shift around when i am running this through if you've never used post-it tape i will link it um, you can find it at your office supply stores, um, but I just get it from Amazon. All right, we actually have two glass dies, which is awesome, so we don't have to run it through twice. Get those lined up. 
Let's see if I can lay this down on there without moving them too much. We've got our flowers. You want to look at the bottom and the top to make sure you get that lined up. And then we've got our outline, our, our lemon slice, and our lemons. And I think, I don't think I need to tape these down. We'll leave those loose and hold our breath. Make sure nothing slips. Set that down on there carefully and run it through. Now this project, as well as two others, I am originally doing on Facebook Live. So there will be a PDF that has all of the measurements and complete supply list with item, item numbers and prices. So again, if you click the link here on YouTube, hop back over there, you'll find it. Um, and also two other projects. Now I've done an I've done one the day before and I'll do one the day after. So make sure you kind of, all right. One thing we want to do that I forgot is to cut a border on the bottom of our basic white piece. This is a scalloped die that'll create a border for us. And I definitely want this to stay straight. So let's just grab some of that post-it tape. You can get away with three or four uses out of each piece. And we'll, we will run that through. And then you've got a really fun scalloped border. Now I have cut a piece of designer series paper. This is some of our new paper and I can't remember the name off the top of my head. Something eclectic maybe? Again, check my PDF for the exact name. I'm gonna put that right there. I'm gonna take my scissors first and let's trim that off so that it's nice and straight. I'm gonna take a piece of tear and tape and we'll go right across there. Let's make sure we get that straight. And we're gonna use some bubble bath that sounds funny, doesn't it? We're gonna use some bubble bath ribbon and go across. Bubble bath is the color of this paper and this um, ribbon. It is a beautiful color that is new in our catalog, one of our new subtles. We've needed a good soft pink and Stampin' Up! delivered with this beautiful color. Now, Let's start layering all the things. I'm gonna start with my pitcher. Okay, I'm gonna put that right there. And actually I put my ribbon higher than I did on my sample, didn't I? Well, it's okay. We'll make it work. And we're gonna take this and we'll put that kind of right there. And I always say that these sets that have all these little things make me feel like I'm playing with my dollhouse from when I was growing up. It's kind of nostalgic. All right, we'll take our flowers and lay them across our table here. We may need to trim. Nope, I think we've got it. We'll make it fit right there. Now for this little lemon slice, I'm gonna cut a slit in it and put just a little bit of glue behind it. And we'll slide it on this glass right here, like that. Nope, we don't want you to stick to our finger. There we go. And then we've got our lemons. And we'll put these right there like that now i'm going to stamp the sentiment in bubble bath and it says thank you kindly so we'll stamp that right there and then last but not least let's get our ribbon again and i'm going to tie a bow There we go. 
snip and a glue dot. And we'll put that right over here on the side this time. All right, and then last but not least, we're just gonna add it to our bubble bath card base. I'm gonna use four dimensionals. And we'll set that right on there. And there is a fun, beautiful, um, I don't know, kind of summertime thank you card um, that would just make anybody smile. All right, make sure you click that link, go back to my blog, let me know if you have questions, and have fun stamping. Bye-bye.